All right, guys, today we're going to talk about the quadratic formula. This formula is going to allow you to factor polynomials without having to do the air conditioning method or a lot of heavy thinking. It's a direct formula for calculating the zeros of a function. So write this down, and then I'll show you the quadratic formula. All right, so here's the quadratic formula. Write it down with me. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and all of that is the numerator over 2a. This formula is going to give you x, which will be the zeros of the function. So let's do an example, and in order to do that example, we need to first understand what a, b, and c are. You've seen them before. They come from the standard form of a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are just the numbers that you would plug into the formula. Here's an example. 2x squared plus 9x minus 18. a is 2, b is 9, c is negative 18. And you would plug them into the formula and simplify in order to solve it. So let's do that right now as our first example. Write that down if you haven't done so already. Again, you want to write down the quadratic formula so that you're memorizing it. Write it down if you haven't done so again. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Star it somewhere on your paper. You need to have it memorized. Our example that we're going to do is 2x squared plus 9x minus 18. So let's start off by filling in the quadratic formula. The first thing that it says is negative b. b is 9, so we will write down negative 9. Then the plus minus sign, then the square root symbol. It then says b squared, and b is 9. Well, 9 squared is 81. Next, you write down the minus sign, and then you have the number 4. The number 4 is multiplying a and c. Because when a number is next to a letter, or a letter is next to a letter, that means you're multiplying. A is 2. C is negative 18. And I would always put the negative number in parentheses so that you avoid making silly mistakes. This entire thing is the numerator of a fraction over 2 times A in the denominator. A is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Again, this entire function equals x which will be the zeros of your final answer. Now, all we have left to do is simplify this radical. It says negative 9, and then it says plus minus the square root. 81 you don't do anything to. The minus sign stays there, but you now have to multiply 4 times 2 times negative 18. Multiply those numbers together. 4, 2, and negative 18. 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times negative 18 is negative 144. All of that is over a 4 in the denominator. Keep simplifying. You have a minus sign next to another minus sign. That's a boom boom, you add. So rewrite what you have. Negative 9 plus or minus the square root. 81 plus 144 is 225 and all of that is over 4. Now you have to deal with the plus minus sign. Because you have plus and minus, you have to write down two separate situations, two separate equations. Negative 9 plus the square root of 225, that's 15. All of that goes over 4. This is your first equation. You take the plus and you make an equation where you're just using the plus sign. And that's going to equal x, one of your zeros. The next equation, negative 9 minus the square root of 225 is 15 again, and all of that is over 4. That will equal x, your other 0. Once you're done simplifying, you'll be done with the problem. Negative 9 plus 15, that is positive 6. You are dividing it by 4. 6 over 4 is 3 over 2. That is one of your solutions for x. Negative 9 minus 15 is negative 24 and all of that goes over 4. 
negative 24 divided by 4 is negative 6. That is your other x value. What you now know is the answer for the polynomial when you factor it. If we have x equaling negative 6, then that means the original binomial that this came from was x plus 6. Remember, you're trying to figure out the x value that makes the binomial become 0. Anything times 0 is 0. The other binomial is going to have x, and then because this is a positive 3 over 2, negative 3 over 2 is what the other value would be. Because again, when you plug in a positive 3 over 2, and then you have 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2, you would get 0, and that is how you solve a quadratic formula. These are your answers, and if you wrote them out as factors that would give you the original problem, those binomials would look like this x plus 6 and x minus 3 over 2, the opposites of your answers.